All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Kona. Thank you for all the massive support on part one. It was awesome. We're gonna jump in to part number two here. <coughs> Sorry, I have the fucking hiccups, and they won't go away. I've been waiting for ages for them to go away to start this video. But, I'm gonna try my best to stop them. Ah, you see Lachance's house is back up this way, to the left. Oh. Is that a gun? Oh. No wolf could have done done that. That's true. Okay. He was running this way. There's another shard. Okay, so this is their house right up here then. He was running back to his house. I mean, it makes sense. Oh god, there's another dead person there. Oh shit. The chance's house. There's another dead person. Dude, that's so weird. The way they're just- you can see their face. Dude, that's actually so fucking weird. Obviously, we want to keep this one. Jesus Christ, man. That's so weird. I hate the way it fucking starts going all crazy when you get near it, too. We got a magnet there. Interesting. Alright, what the hell's down here? A fire? I can't fucking do this, dude. My The hiccups are so retarded. The crossbow bolt stuck into the wooden stairs reminded Carl of the arrow that was said to have hit Achilles' heel. But who was the intended Achilles this time? Fuck no. Fuck no, dude. These hiccups are too much, dude. I swear to God, it's actually starting to really piss me off now. I've had them for so long. Just fuck off. Okay, guys, I think I've got rid of the hiccups. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I have. Jesus Christ, that was annoying. I held my breath for like... A minute straight there, but I think I've got rid of him. So there's an arrow down there. This bitch is incredibly dead inside here. I don't even know if she's dead, but like she's in the air was hmm. freezing right down to the bone. She's definitely dead. But like maybe she could be in cry no. <laughs> she's dead. There's hope. Um, got a couple of cards, nothing special. Tools down there, we already got tools. The dishes, cigarettes. Flip up bottle? Fill up bottle. We don't, we don't have a bottle, do we? Uh, I don't think we even have a bottle. Okay. Fire starter. The air in here is freezing, as he says. Do we want to go over and inspect, the, inspect like this the body? I'm scared to. Are there to stay. Okay, so. Looks like the holes in that puzzle are there to stay. The pot was cold, and the stew inside wasn't cooked. It's likely that poor Giselle was slow cooking it before she got snapped. What do you? What, what do you mean snapped? Like what is the this? The otherworldly ice had struck again. The woman's hopes and dreams were frozen in eternity. What is going on here? Carl felt a cool, oh, not this sensation again. in his back. Another vision took over him. Not this again. Please, not this again, dude. Something was hidden under the stairs. Okay, we know that now at least. I don't think we can use it now. That does nothing currently. The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. This is Lachance that got sh the Lachance that fucking got shot though, right? There is nothing useful here. Oh, this is the guy, sorry, the first guy we found. Did he just come down here? I can't see shit, dude. I literally can't see a damn thing here. Did he run down here again? Did we go back down?
Bertland Lachance, 1948. Okay, did you come back out here? Oh, here they are talking to each other. Perhaps their spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. Cooling down. Yeah. It seemed like secrecy was commonplace in this house. What the fuck? So the visions kind of show you where shit is. That's pretty crazy. Giselle's diary. The vision's veil was lifted, and he was back to reality. The A reality in which Giselle, Jill's loving spouse, was motionless. Those visions are so ice. creepy, dude. Mother once told me, when I first met Gile, that I hadn't picked the brightest bulb of the lot, and as the years fly by, I'm seeing the truth of her words. Always trust your mother's wisdom. That blackmailing scheme is a prime example of Gilles' brightness. He's like a small dog. He thinks he's bigger than he actually is. He growls genuinely thinking he's scary, but everyone knows he can be pushed aside with just a little kick. He truly believes he can blackmail Hamilton, the big boss himself. It's going to be a long time in hell before my poor Gilles can manage to pull off such a feat. After all, Hamilton's a rich, learned, and influential man. Not only is the bla is that blackmailing idea bad to begin with, let's be honest, Gilet is way out of his league, but he doesn't even know he's actually going to carry this out. I don't even think he ever would. He's just throwing random threats out loud in the kitchen. He says he'll do it eventually, but I know better. Successful blackmailing requires masterful cunning, and he does not he's a master of nothing. That's harsh. He is a slave and forever will be. I often look at that safe he keeps hidden in the fake wall in which he stores all these incriminating documents he intends to use and I just can't come to grips with the sheer ridiculousness of that whole thing. So she knows about it. And yeah. Shit's bad, dude. Looks like they were repainting the whole house. I don't think we can fill up our bottle. It's already full. Um, Anything in there? The unpack suggests they just moved here. A painkiller. That should be handy at some stage, you would imagine. Okay. Now let's go get that thing out of the wall. And check if his shotgun is gone as well. Carl had seen that kind of safe before. With its double layered security system blending letters and numbers, its code couldn't be broken by the common burglar. Um, wait a second. The necklace we found was his, right? 1948. We just need a letter. Shut up. Shut the hell up. We need a letter. If we get a letter... What a mess. I think Clearly, I have the number. There was some major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. Many boxes scattered above. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. But what is this? Polar ten more Polaroid for pictures. Nice, nice, nice. Um, cigarettes. Let ourselves a clock. We'll turn that back on. My bad. Uh, so I know the number. We just need Beautiful a letter. Portrait of Jill and Giselle, bound together by the chains of conventional love. It could be G. Because Giselle and Gile, it could be it could be G, and we have the number from the necklace. A maybe nice white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. All right, let's try that. Maybe I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Let me just uh, try it real quick. What is this? Is this is ah moving. What a pleasant activity. Of course. You'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later. In some random box, okay. Um, let me see about this here. We got documents. We got this necklace here, right? In some random box. So the neck, the, the numbers are seven three nine. Now that could be the number on this because it is three numbers. And what else do we have? Do we have anything else that could indicate a letter? A letter from. Nothing there. That's just a letter. The, tr the threatening letter, apparently. Mysterious journal, maybe? No, I don't think that's anything to do with it. I'm just trying to see if maybe there's anything, like... Giselle's diary, maybe? 
It could be G. I'm thinking it's G. We'll try that in a second. Uh, Isabel, maybe. He had a photo of her in his car. Didn't he? Isabel. So maybe it's I. We'll try I and G. And if neither of those work, then... Um, yeah, I don't know. G, 7, 3. What is he doing? What are you doing? Get your fucking hand out of the way, dumbass. That didn't work, did it? Right, let's start a fire, damn it. Save the game up. Get our heat and get our mind at ease here. And uh, I just want to check something there real quick as well. Is that... You know that necklace? Who does this belong to again? We don't know, do we? We don't know. Who do we find this with, though? This necklace. Okay, guys, I don't know how we're supposed to actually figure out the puzzle right now, so I'm gonna just leave that for a little bit, I guess. We'll go onwards. We'll see if there's anything down here we can do. Uh, this is kind of the road again. Eastern Atomipics, whatever that means. Okay, there's a post box down there. So, this is... I don't think there's much here. This... Oh, there's another house down here. The Bedard's house? Okay. Should we just check out all the houses, I guess? Bedard and Roy. Okay, let's check out the Bedard house right now. See if there's anything going on down there. It's, uh, worth the shot, right? There's no one fucking here, anyway. Who's that to? Okay. Okay, this is where crying wolf leads you. Way to be a dick about it, man. Okay, better it is just down here. Let's go down and check out what the hell is going on. Apparently there's a mine or something. And we're loading. Loading, loading, loading. Hello? Thank you, okay. Uh, let's see what's good with this house down here. We are fucking getting tired here, I think. The Bedard's house, okay. Let's check out what this house is like. There's a shed here. I don't think we can get into this, can we? We can, we can, we can, we can. Anything in here, boys? Nothing at all, it would seem. Oh. This is very similar to the a one to the shop. Oh, nice. Catholic always strives to keep lowly temptations at bay. Obviously, Carl thought, someone in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding the Holy Bible's teaching. <laughs> They had fucking alcohol and shit. What is this? Carl smiled at the sight of the nicely protected garden. Did Hopefully, I know? Hopefully, the Bedards had managed to dig every last potato out before the sudden snowfall. Carl was no burglar. He didn't need to resort to petty techniques such as window breaking to find his way in. A good detective simply looks for keys where gullible souls hide them. As if that was the easiest, like, come on. It's the simplest place to leave a key. Uh, anything down around? I don't think so. I think we're good to go in. And check out what's good in the Bedard's household. The house smelled like incense. The kind that reminds you of the good lord, of peace. No loose change in the cracks. I'm gonna start up a fire, save it here. Turn on the TV. Okay, nothing on TV. Nothing good on TV. How crazy would it be if there was just someone here? I don't think there's anybody in this place. Enough food for rough times. Then where are the, where are the people? Oh, there's a, a light. Okay, so everything seems to be working okay here. How did they draw the sun? Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. That is interesting, actually. There's fucking nothing out here, guys. Just absolutely nothing. 
Fire starter. Okay. There's just nothing in the freaking world. What about the phone? Maybe the phone works there? No sound on the line. Of course it doesn't. Why would I expect anything less? What is this? Three matches. And another steak. Ooh. Two steaks. Two steaks. They're hungry in this household. The perfect cookie cutter Catholic family. Most likely attending church every Sunday. Okay, anything in here? Who knew that giraffes thrived in the North Pole? <laughs> the craze for toys was stupefying. It's a cute giraffe. It's a kid's room. The family's mother must have spent her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. The empty cradle sent an eerie feeling down Carl's spine. As if minutes ago, someone just grabbed the baby and made a run for it. That's pretty fucking creepy, all right. New journal entry? Sylvie's diary, okay. Jean-Luc never had a knack the for Bedard's mathematics. The had vacated the premises. Carl gathered they would be of no help. Okay, so we're not gonna get any answers here, is that what he's saying? Is that what you're saying? We're not gonna get any freaking answers here? Well, this was a splendid waste of time then. But it was pretty cool though, coming down here. Seeing everything in the house. What is this? Can I read that? History? Oh, Marie's diary now. I have a diary Shame just like the Mom. family had bailed. Carl would have had a few questions for Jean Luc, a close friend of Hamilton's. Okay, let's go down to Roy's house. Roy's house is just down here. Gotta learn all the secrets, you know? How do we get through this fence, though? Right here, maybe? Yes, we can get through here. Okay, Roy's house is just up here and to the left, I guess. Maybe we'll be able to start a fire there, too. Fire starter. Where the hell's the house? Here we go, here we go. Every time it loads like that, you're getting into somewhere. You're getting somewhere. You know you are. Okay. Come on, come on. So we're doing more side stuff now, it would seem like this is like... But I don't know if this is all going to lead to uh, important stuff in, in the long run, probably. There's kind of just little places you need to look out for, it would seem. This is Roy's house. And, um... It seems like a small little one. Imagine living out here in the fucking wilderness like this. It'd be crazy, man. Oh, we need a key. We don't got a key for that door yet. Uh, maybe in the dog kennel? There's really a fucking dog kennel here. So this fool had a dog. Oh, there's a note on here. We fled. It was getting too dangerous. More people live in North Maniston. It'll be safer there. Jean okay, so there's no one here. Oh, it's just it open. It was a classic Canadian house. Except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. Just one more move and White is checkmated. Game over. It seems the game was abandoned right before the final strike came down. Shit's getting dangerous quickly then. Oh, wait. There was something in there. Oh my god, this is getting annoying now. There you go. Seven matches. Nothing. Maybe a steak in the fridge. Nothing in the fridge. All ketchup and shit. Come on, man. Alright, nothing. Nothing. Let's see. The photograph was snapped not too far from here, Carl noticed. The couple seemed to be very good friends. The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. Painkillers. Okay. A picture of Wilfred in his youth. Good man, Carl Wilfred. figured right away that the man must have been some kind of wildlife officer. Novel page. The two lovebirds were still going at it seven months later, though confiding fears and desires. What? That's really fucked up. I don't know. Oh, that's really fucking weird. 
gives you the chills, man. Okay, so this motherfucker is a complete psychopath. Jesus Christ. Or else his writing is just psychopathic. Okay, uh, that's really fucking weird. Like, super, super creepy weird. Oh, there's a chest here. Monopoly, you win if you pass go. Cano Conopoly, they call it. Conopoly. That's cool. Uh, okay, there's nothing else here, I would seem. We've got everything there is to get in here. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in Roy's house, it would seem. Kind of an abandoned place, really. Not much to it. Simone de Beauvoir, Claude Levi Strauss, Hannah Arendt, Roland Barthes. Carl was surprised by the literature filling this liberal leaning bookcase. Could there really be intellectuals dwelling in this far off land? I guess so. Pretty crazy, huh? Oh, is this the last page, of the first page of the fantasy? Novel page one. So this guy literally just wrote about murdering people. Or his character murdering people. Pretty fucked up in my opinion, but you know what? Each to their own, I guess. But I really enjoyed this part, guys. If you did too, make sure to drop a like on the video. I'd super appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna figure out more about what is going the fuck on in this place in the next part. And uh, hopefully we'll learn about the La Chances. And uh, as you can see here, we have... Uh, we're at Roy's place. We're going to get to La Chance, back to La Chance, back to the general store and find out some more stuff there uh, before we head onwards to Blyce and shit like that. I think there's still a few secrets to uncover uh, in the general store because when I left there, he said there's still secrets to uncover. So obviously there is. And uh, yeah, that's where we're going to end this part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back for more Kona in the very near future. Peace out.